we just really wanted to go to Vancouver Island, but driving to the ferry, something happened with the tire. What do you see how it leans in? And this doesn't lean in like that. That wheel is f***ed up. Trip to Vancouver Island didn't seem to happening. Welcome to another episode. Uh, it's kind of a sad one because we're not in our truck because our truck is done. All the front end is really rusted out. I kind of knew it is like that, but the frame is bad as well and uh, the truck needs to be changed out. Luckily it's a box truck and that's why I bought that truck and built out the little tiny house on these wheels because I knew I can take the box off from the chassis and put it on the new chassis. And uh, this morning I got a call that the truck is done and uh, they've been going through internet and searching for a new chassis, not new, used one, and uh, calling all kind of people in garages because it's a big process to do these kind of things. and. And not everywhere you're gonna find these chassis. So I have found one in Calgary, but I'm in Vancouver here for the job. And uh, I'm flying in a few hours back to Calgary to pick up the chassis and then hopefully driving back to Vancouver and hopefully putting in a garage and change out the box on the new chassis. How it's all gonna go, I don't know. I'm really stressed out. And, uh, it's something what I knew could happen in our van life, life, but I did not know that it's gonna happen that early. So I'm like pissed inside, really bad. Yeah, come along, see how it all goes. I am about to leave. I'm gonna fly to Calgary where I'm gonna meet my friend Jason. He's gonna help me out a lot. And then in two days, I need to be back here in Vancouver for the job. Well, I just landed here in Calgary and winter is outside here again. I'm waiting for Jason to arrive. Home for tonight. <laughs> Filming adventure, eh? Oh, dude, it is kind of adventure. Hey, such a Welcome to your Alberta Airbnb. Thank you so much. Oh, check that out, man. You got five degrees in here. Not bad. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, this looks so cool. That's Jason. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, good, buddy. I just want to keep some heat in for you. So this is the truck. It looks really fresh. Test drive in the new home. She's got the jam. No rear end weight yet. Might be the new, we don't know what we're gonna call it. She looks good, bye. Throw the box on like it's nothing. <laughs> Robert's like new it. home, folks. Fucker, I didn't see your license plate. What are you doing? recording. <laughs> Come together. Oh, we know Jason. There would be no chance. Thank you so much. Well, here we are. All the registrations and everything is done. And we need to install the mat mud flaps and close a little bit that thing and kind of look more uh, legit. legit so I can uh, hit the road to BC. I'm screwing it up. 
holding your finger. I'm holding, buddy. Well, it's not that bad. Looks like straight out from Alberta, but that's where we are, and this is awesome. Next thing, mud flaps. Final steps of, we don't have a name for him or her it yet. It is, uh, Walter, Walter White. I actually called it yesterday. Walter White. Roadworthy, headed to Vancouver for a box transfer. Just installing the new Alberta number plate. <laughs> it looks so bad. How does it look, dude? King of the castle right here. <clears throat> That's where my couch is usually. <laughs> Man on a mission. Hi there. I'm on the road back to Vancouver. Uh, what an interesting two days. Uh, very big thanks to Jason who helped me with everything out here. And I'm um, just gonna drive pass all the mountains again and uh, hopefully make to the Vancouver. Tomorrow I need to go back to work. Uh, everything is lining up how it should and uh, just very happy that I got a vehicle and hopefully soon I can get a box on it and uh, me and Ashley and Yuki and Buttercup has again home on the wheels because uh, I might not look stressed out but I was really stressed uh, three days ago and even a little bit now. So these road conditions are very slippery because it's just a little bit snowing and it's cold outside obviously. And I was just passing some few mountains and going up and the light, the back is so light that from the moment I put the gas on a little bit, my back was going like this. And I was just going uphill so slowly so it doesn't like go, oh man, I got really scared. <laughs> this looks amazing. It's going to be an interesting drive to work today. Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, I want to see how I'm going to get up. One hour later, trying to get out of here, and I didn't. Well, I see I'm not the only one who have problems today. Well, another one. Might get to work sometime, someday. A few days later, we're going to the cow tire to pick up Betty White, and we need to take care to other garage where they're gonna take off the box of her and then later on they're gonna put box on Walter. That's today's plan to bring Betty White to the garage. But the control arm is left control arm is rusted out of the frame so it's totally broken off the frame. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to drive her because the wheel can come off or not come off but like it's bad, so we'll see how that goes too. Are you ready to take over this truck? Walter White. Walter White. Uh, we just arrived at Cal Tire. Aww, are you sad? Yeah, I am. Um, so many memories in Betty White. Feel sad to replace her, but we'll make new ones in Walter White. Yeah, he's a little rough on the edges, but he's gonna come through in the end. <laughs> uh, and we're not gonna be breaking bad, okay? I'm not breaking anything. We're 
are now taking hamster out of their home of her home because this truck is gonna be in the garage and it's gonna be it's getting cold here in Vancouver so it's not gonna be allowed to run the heater because we, it's gonna be inside in the shop so we're taking hamster with us to Airbnb. Ashley is getting very emotional and I totally get it. Well, this is a New Year's Eve. I can't see nothing here because I'm here 500 feet up on the bridge. And that's my house taken off. That's interesting. Never thought I'm gonna see look like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy moly. So I'm taking here the spare tire off of Betty White. Man, she is pretty rusty. Anyways, I need to bring this to my truck and change it out front tire so I'm gonna tell you a little story uh, here right in here someone put some thing in my tire this is really bad and um, mirror is broken that happened right here on the street. Alrighty, the rim is replaced with a tire and I just took off this one. And you tell me, I literally, it literally looks like someone did this on purpose. Like I can't see, and I don't remember really to driving on something like this. This is, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking. Looks pretty epic scenery here <laughs> on a street, you know what I mean? It looks, uh, I don't know, real hilly billy thing in Vancouver, you know? Oh, by the way, that plywood fell off when I was driving from work that other day. It fell off, so yeah, I'm looking real hilly billy here, you know, here in Vancouver, and it's been uh, tough dealing with the vehicles while working and everything else, switching from Airbnbs to Airbnbs and, but uh, I can only laugh about all this. I mean, you know, what else I can do? And look, something from Betty White to Walter. Isn't this nice? Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, before they, before I move somewhere farther, I'm just gonna move this mirror here. You know, just in case. Okay, let me come over a bit. Let's go rear. You got touchdown, right? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, I would suggest go with the butyl tape yeah. in between, yeah. sandwich it, and then seal it around the outside once it's done. Okay. The white caulking gives us a double seal and it makes it look nice. We've been here for 11 years, going okay. on 12. And then we were over on the other side of Langley. John started it 30. Four years ago. You don't mind if I start some take take some things out like uh, lights and light yeah, bar and stuff like that. Okay, I will get on that one. Thank you so much. No Another quick thing I want to show you about Betty White is how rusted she is. See all those layers there? That's all rust and multiple layers. Just the doors. And then we go to the corners. And then we go underneath. Headlights, one of the turn signal lights, and the light bar is installed on Walter already. Well, 
I'm sitting already in my new truck with a box on it, how you see. It's all nice and sealed. Come on, I'll show you around. So they sealed it nice here. And she's on. So I want to take some tires off from this truck. I see those are brand new tires, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it off. And how you know, one of the tires on the other side is not the same like this one. So I want to change out at least my front tires so they are the same type of tire, you know what I mean? Saying goodbye to Betty White. Betty White, your engine and your gearbox is gonna go to some project. You're still gonna live, you're gonna be a race SUV. Thank you so much for all the kilometers, for everything. And that's that. Change out all the tires, what I need to change out took the spare tire and that's it bye Betty White and just like that we are back in a van uh, thank you so much Coral International Truck Equipment LTD for putting this box on on our new Walter <laughs> new Walter and uh, yeah just been crazy month uh, we still are in BC it's raining like crazy here I just not a big fan of rain especially when it's winter outside so we're heading back to Alberta uh, we're gonna stop some few places before Alberta we're probably gonna stop in Whistler I wanna try to ski there and then maybe in Rivalstoke to go for some ski date there too and then just Alberta it is and uh, yeah so Thanks for watching. This is one more uh, one more thing I want to say before I go. This is one of the reasons why I never built out the Sprinter van because if this would happen with the Sprinter van and she would be rusted underneath like Betty White and frame and everything, then it's just totaled. You need to throw it out, you know. So then you need to do a new build. So that was one of the reasons why I built out a box truck, knowing that. These things can happen, so you can take the box off and put it on your chassis. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!